I was a big fan of Batman when I was a kid. And my dad worked at a grocery store and would bring home comics all the time. And I spent a lot of time in the basement drawing my own comics and drawing Batman and science fiction and Star Wars and that type of thing. And that was what really got me interested in storytelling and cartooning and doing comics. When I was a kid in elementary school, I got in trouble doing caricatures. I wasn't paying attention in class. I was drawing a caricature while my teacher was teaching a caricature unit. And uh, he made me stay after class. And when he got a load of the caricature I was doing, uh, he had me go around the school and draw caricatures of all the teachers. And we had a little show. And that was my first experience actually understanding these funny pictures of people I'm drawing are caricatures. Cartooning is storytelling in a more of a simplified form. It's usually funny, but not always. But caricature is specifically people, and drawing a caricature of somebody is exaggerating them as a person, not only their features, but their personality and their presence and the things that they do. Mad Magazine has been around for 64 years now, I think. And I finally got into MAD in 2000. Mostly what I do for MAD these days are the movie and TV parodies, which are sort of a staple of the magazine. You know, they pick a movie and make fun of it. Right now I'm working on the latest Hunger Games movies and they call it the Hunger Pains. I think with MAD you have to, you know, caricature, especially with what I do is important. And then also having a sense of humor and, and writing little visual gags and stuff are important too. So this is what's, what's called the layout. And I, when I get this for MAD, it's got all the word balloons in place with all the jokes. It's a two-page spread of the TV show Orange is the New Black. So this is the final inks for that two-page splash. And then this is the final as it appeared in the magazine, full color. So I color most of my work digitally, and this is a, what's called a Wacom Cintiq monitor, which is a tablet that allows you to color. Here's my inked version of it, and I scan that in and bring it into Photoshop here. And then what I do is I just start laying in color. It isn't just a picture of something, it's trying to get across the message of the article. You know, So if it's critical about something or somebody, your illustration should reflect that. I usually tell it through humor. Most of my stuff is humorous. Well, this is the book I, I wrote on how to draw caricatures and um, talks a lot about the theories behind, you know, what makes a caricature successful and, and uh, you know, what you want to look for in various faces and it really breaks faces down into individual shapes and lots of caricatures throughout the whole thing. Different uh, celebrities demonstrating different types of facial features and different types of exaggeration. The shape of the head is the really most important thing. That's where most of the exaggeration goes because you can really exaggerate, you know, the shape of a head and all the other features have to follow through. When I started out doing cartooning, you know, I got this job as a college student doing caricatures and I started working for this company and they had me move to Atlanta and run an operation for them. And while I was there, I opened up my own in Atlanta. Since then, I expanded and I have caricatures out at Valley Fair and here at the Mall of America at Nick Universe. Everybody together, or just you guys, you're first, all right. There, jump in there, bud. You ready? <laughs> well, I think as an artist, you always want to gravitate towards the things that are natural to you. And when I was going to school for realistic art and painting, I could do it. I just noticed eventually that whenever I didn't have anything specific to do and it was just me and a piece of paper and I could draw whatever I wanted, I always did funny drawings. And when I got that job doing caricatures at a Six Flags park during the summer in college, I realized, you know what, I'm a lot better and it's more natural for me to do the funny stuff. 
<laughs> I'm not looking to change the world. <laughs> I just want to make people laugh occasionally and lighten their day. And I love it. <laughs>